Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today we're trying to find which one is the best spray bottle, specifically for car detailing purposes. So we're going to have our top pick and also a budget pick. So from spray bottles to the trigger sprayers, some are single action, double action. Uh, can they do acids and alkaline products? What type of chemicals can you put in there? Their pricing and all that kind of stuff. We're going to cover all of that in the video. Uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video I purchased all of these sprayers myself by the way I'll drop links to all of these in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy the show so we have seven different spray bottles from different companies today so we have the first one from Pressol this is a German company distributed by Obsessed Garage in the United States uh, then we have the IK Multi TR1 spray bottle this is made in Spain by the IK group uh, then we have CarPro Dilute. Then we have Mercury Pro Plus. This is the Quasar sprayers. Uh, then we have the Spraymaster bottles made in the USA. And then we have the Chemicals guy, Chemical Guys um, spray bottle. And last but not least, we have the Meguiar's spray bottles. So we're going to go through all of them, talk about their features. I'm also going to show you the spray pattern on camera so you kind of get a feel for them. We're going to talk about the uh, ergonomics, the size, uh, of course, the chemicals that you could put in there, all that kind of stuff. And of course, as I said, we're going to talk about the pricing because uh, some of them are double the price of others. All the prices discussed in this video, by the way, are going to be in US dollars, uh, just so you guys are aware. So without further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. And the first one here is the uh, Pressol bottle. This is distributed, I think, exclusively, for, to my knowledge, uh, by Obsessed Garage in the USA. Uh, this is one of the most expensive bottles in the uh, this group, I think. Let me just check my notes here to make sure. Uh, yeah, it's the most expensive bottle, second most expensive by a few pennies, uh, but you know what I mean. So let's have a look closer here. So the build quality of this one is second to none. You're looking at a top grade bottle. They're available, by the way, in two sizes. So 500 mil and 750 mils. And they're this translucent color, but you can get them in darker colored as well. But I like translucent because I want to see my liquids, uh, as you can see inside there. There are no markings on the bottle, however, for the dilution ratios or quantity that you put in there. So that's one downside. But the build quality, again, this is a super hard plastic. Uh, this is the household version. So they have different versions, but this is the household version. They look awesome as far as looks are concerned. I think this is the best looking one out there. So the uh, trigger sprayer, I have big hands. I'm a, a 6'3 guy, a meter 91. Uh, so these fit well. However, in the back, as far as the weight go, I wish they had a bigger um, L shape here so you can support the rear a bit better. But the ergonomics are quite good. And the uh, trigger action, so let me show you. Of course, you can all adjust the uh, spray pattern. So this is a double action trigger, meaning when I'm pressing, I get a pump. And when I release, I get another pump. So you're dispensing more product and you're more efficient and less time consuming and less effort, obviously. So you can adjust, once again, the spray pattern. This shoots like all the way across the room if you needed to, to a very, very fine mist. So the controls are very good on this. And it just feels super high quality. Once again, have a look at this quality trigger. So overall, build quality is second to none. Uh, the uh, pricing, $14.95 USD for the 500 mil version and $15.95 USD for the 750 mil version, uh, making it one of the most expensive ones. But again, German made, very high quality. Uh, they look the best as well. Uh, so who is this for? Well, first of all, you can put um, pretty much any type of chemicals that you want in there, um, except perhaps from acid-based products like acid-based wheel cleaners. Uh, they might eat up the uh, the internals of this type of sprayer if you have some very strong wheel acids. Uh, so just a note on that, but pretty much any other chemical, no problems in there. If you're looking uh, to have an easy dilution chart or to measure the volumes with uh, measuring tick marks on the side, well, this won't be for you. So uh, perhaps this might be more for those uh, who have uh, liquids that they easily dispense, like a spray wax or a spray detailer, a drying aid, that kind of stuff. And you want uh, to have, well, all your bottles look the same. So we're going to pick the top pick towards the end, but this is a very solid contender. So build quality is A1. 
Next, we have the uh, IK Multi TR1 uh, spray bottle. So let me show you this one up close. First of all, let's start from the, uh, the bottle. This is probably one of the heaviest duty plastics in the bunch. So as far as build quality is concerned, very good. Just like the Pressol, it has a wide base. So it's important for those of you who don't want your bottles to tip over, the Pressol is very sturdy. And because of its wide base, it won't tip over. It's the same thing with the uh, IK Multi TR1 trigger sprayer. Uh, it can handle acids and alkaline chemicals. Although for acids, it's limited to diluted acids. It can also put disinfectant, disinfectants, ketones, and a bunch of stuff. Has that, again, wide balance. So that wide base has that translucent look. So you can see your liquids inside there. The good thing about this one, it has charts on the side here so you get your marked levels in ounces up to 34 ounces and on the other side in mils up to a thousand mils or a liter so very clearly marked allowing you to see what's in there and you also get these product id little things that you can write on and they have two sides so you have an, a green one and an orange one so you can easily identify your product so i thought that was pretty cool uh, the pricing on this one, depending of course on where you're sourcing these products, online can go anywhere from 12 USD all the way up to 17 or 18 USD. Uh, of course, we're in a world now due to COVID that uh, everything is in short supply, demands are very high, uh, and uh, transportation and just availability of products to being produced is uh, very, very hard to source some products. Uh, and so just keep in mind that prices will likely fluctuate into 2022 for sure. Uh, but this one is decently priced for the quality. The only thing, the trigger sprayer perhaps is not the best one of the bunch. So I really like IK for their pump sprayers. If you want to see a review on the best pump sprayers, let me know. I'll, I'll come up with that. But this one for a spray bottle, let's have a look. So the atomization is very, very nice. Once again, you can control. This one also shoots all the way till the end of my garage if I need this. So you can control how big of a mist, how fine of a mist or liquid just like that. So it atomizes very well and works quite well. Let me give you a close up, but the quality is perhaps not the best on the sprayer. Uh, you can put up to three fingers on there. So the ergonomics are decent. You have this bigger neck in the back compared to the press all that allows your palm to take it well and it sits well in the hand. It's a bit bulky for a, um, a sprayer though because this is a liter or 34 ounce container. So just keep that in mind as well. But uh, pretty much all the features are there. Build quality is very good. They can just improve on this uh, trigger sprayer. I think that would be a good thing. Uh, but multiple uses as far as chemicals are concerned and the price is decent. So let's move on to the next one. This is probably going to be a crowd favorite. I know it's one of my favorites uh, because it has many things going for it. First of all, it's the less expensive one of the bunch. So this is the CarPro Dilute bottle. So let's have a look here. Available in two sizes, 500 mils and a liter bottle. So uh, 16 ounces all the way up to uh, 34 ounces, depending on what you need. The uh, sprayer is very, very good on this one. So it has this very, very long trigger, which is very good because I can put four fingers on it. And the spray pattern is very, very good as well. So this, look at that. This one too, if you adjust it, it shoots all the way till the end of my garage. Uh, what am I doing here? All right, so you can have it missed very nicely. So it is not the best trigger as far as build quality is concerned, but ergonomics is definitely one of the best ones out there. Uh, for holding it as well, for big hands like mine, this is the best one for big hands. And what I like most about this is the uh, 500 mil bottle or 16.9 ounces, by the way, is the dilution chart. So look at this here on the side. It makes diluting your products super easy. So as they uh, state here on the bottle, you uh, would first fill it up with water to the desired ratio. So let's say you want a two to one dilution ratio. So you would fill with water up to this line and then the rest with product up to this line. And they actually tell you on the bottle, fill product to here. So that's the fill line. So it makes diluting your products super, super easy. So the less expensive one available in two sizes, very good trigger as far as ergonomics are concerned. The only thing I would improve is perhaps a bit the quality, but I mean, it is the less expensive of the bunch. So as far as uh, value goes, this is probably one of the best ones. Uh, this is made in Korea, by the way, South Korea. So let's move on to 
This one here from Mercury, this is the Quasar Pro Plus version. Uh, this one here is a double action. So let's have a look first of all at the trigger. Very, very high grade plastics use on this. Same thing for the uh, container if we look at that. So the price for this one is $15.99 USD. If you get the uh, smaller bottles, it goes all the way up to 22 bucks, depending on which versions and what sizes you're getting. But you're getting this very, very sturdy plastic wide base, so it won't tip over. You get this very high quality one. I've had this for over a decade now, this one, and it's still going. So double action, because when you're pumping forward, you're getting an action. And when you're releasing, you're also getting another sprayer. Maybe the sprayer is a bit tired on this one, because on the release, it is not as good as... The press all, for example, if we compare this one. So if you look at this, look at that. Forward and backwards, you're getting equal amount of product every time. This one doesn't do that anymore. It's a bit better when it's brand new, but it's releasing a bit less. Uh, three fingers on the trigger. The ergonomics are decent. Here you have this pretty uh, big part of the neck there that helps support your palm. It falls well into hand. And this one too. Can shoot very far so all of these are professional level trigger sprayers that uh, you can purchase yourself even if you're a diy person at home so you have access to the professional level uh, spray bottles and trigger sprayers it is on the expensive side for what it is but you are getting a sturdy plastic you're not getting all the uh, measurement tick marks on the side except that you're getting for volume so to see how much you're putting in there so you, hopefully you can tell here on camera, up to a thousand mils. So you see these marked levels on the side, but no dilution ratio. So that's one thing I would improve. And the uh, trigger uh, also can be improved, I think, for something that will perform better or have a bit better ergonomics, although it is one of the good ones out there. Uh, other than that, very solidly built. It's just the price, I think, will be prohibitive, prohibitive for uh, some to get into them. Uh, by the way, the um, which one did I forget to talk about? Yes, for the CarPro dilute bottles, for the 500 mils, you're looking at roughly eight bucks. If you want the liter bottle, 34 ounces roughly, um, that's roughly 10 bucks. So still quite inexpensive, regardless of which size you're getting it in. Okay, up next, the second less expensive of the bunch, made in the USA. This is a cult classic, especially for the people who have been on the Auto Geek forums for a while. Uh, I've had the Spraymaster bottles for uh, many, many years now as well, over a decade easily. So these one here, the second less expensive, between eight to 10 bucks, 32 ounce bottles. The, um, let's have a look here. So in the back, you have charts that you can tick depending on what's inside there. These are heavy duty, high output uh, spray bottles. And what I like as well, you have your dilution charts. So you get a translucent window here on the side. So you can tell your volumes, you can see the liquid moving. And you have your fill mark. So I like when they're very clear on the indications up to where you fill. And you have your dilution ratios on the side as well. And your volume too. So you have it in ounces and mils. So as far as di dilution charts are concerned and uh, measuring marks, this is probably one of the best ones to make it easy for you to visualize. So it does have this 32 ounce container, so you have a lot of it. Uh, the only downfall, I think, is the sprayer head itself. So this is perhaps not the best quality. The plastic is a bit cheaper and I've had many of them uh, as soon as they fall on the ground, unfortunately crack and then the, the uh, sprayer becomes unusable. So you have to get a new, uh, a new sprayer. But as far as dispensing, so let's have a look here. It is not the best sprayer action compared to the rest, but it does work okay. I do like this longer trigger in the front. It allows you comfortably three fingers, and you can also use four fingers if you want for bigger hands. So that's one very good thing. You can also adjust this like all the other sprayers to shoot pretty far, not as far as the uh, Pressol or the IK Foamer or the Quasar, but still decently far. I'm making it quite far in my garage right now. And again, you can adjust this to as fine a mist as you want, or to have it more like a stream, of course, depending on what your needs are. So have a look once again, a close up at this uh, sprayer here and the bottle itself. The bottle 
is not the best quality, so it's definitely not as sturdy as the IK or the uh, Pressol bottles, that's for sure. So it's a cheaper plastic that is quite malleable, as you can tell, and pliable. So uh, a bit more careful when you're using these. However, the price, once again, is inexpensive. We're looking at eight to 10 bucks for a pretty big bottle here. So that is Spraymaster made in the US of A. So next, another classic in the industry. Uh, this is the Chemical Guys spray bottle. And I say a classic, why? Because, well, you probably notice the shape of the bottle and the uh, Tolco trigger here. So this one here is a ubiquitous trigger sprayer used by many, many brands. If I look at PNS or a, a, I'm not gonna start naming companies because I think a lot of them use this uh, trigger. So it's a common one, it's made in Taiwan. So this is a, like this is the standard, right? If you're looking at a standard for chemicals, for chemical sprayers that are heavy duty and resistant to most chemicals, the Tolco type sprayers, you're gonna see this pretty much on uh, many, many bottles that you buy in the detailing world. And the good thing about the Chemical Guys bottle is you have your dilution charts here on the side. And again, you have ounces and you have mils on the other side and you have a fill ring that's clearly indicated. So let me show you this bottle up close. So hopefully you can tell on camera, you see here, fill ring. So it tells you to fill up up to there. And on the side here, you have all these marked levels. So you have on one side, all your mils. So this goes up to 946 mils or a liter and you have your ounces on the other side, so a uh, 32 ounce bottle, because this is not quite a liter, right? And you have your dilution ratios, so whether it's one to one, two to one, three to one, five to one, 10 to one. So I like when they do that, because not only can you see the liquid in the translucent portion, but you can also easily measure your dilution ratios. So I wish they did that on the Pressol bottle, if they can have one improvement, is to add measuring charge dilution ratios, allow people to be able to easily see what they're doing. So this one here hits that mark. As far as pricing on the Chemical Guys, uh, you're looking at roughly $12.95 for a bottle. Uh, they also have $6.79 for a 16 ounce bottle. So this one here, 32 ounces, but you can get uh, a 16 ounce bottle for a bit less, a lot less actually. Um, and they also have an acid resistant version and a foaming type trigger version as well. So this one here will suit most chemicals that you're using, but if you have acid-based products like uh, Meguiar's uh, Wheel Brightener, for example, that's an acid-based wheel cleaner, you're gonna want to use Tolco's acid-type sprayer. So this one here, let me give you a close-up. So it's this golden sprayer. Again, all the links will be included in the description, but you can buy whatever bottles you want if you uh, like some bottles individually and add also the uh, trigger sprayers of your choice. So like this one here, this is made for acid-based products that has a higher resistant uh, resistance to acid products, again, like Meguiar's Wheel Brightener, for example, which is an acid-based wheel cleaner. So you can go ahead and use those. The uh, price is okay. It is mid-pack as far as pricing is concerned, but they do have a lot of things good. Uh, however, the quality of the bottle, though, as you can tell, it is easily pliable, so it is not the best plastic. It's uh, very, very thin. And the uh, trigger is, like I said, it's, a, let's say, a good quality uh, multi-use detailing sprayer. So this is commonly used in the industry, but it is not the best quality one. It just works quite well. It's a very decent sprayer. And again, it's quite ubiquitous in the industry. So another one that is almost identical uh, and another staple in the industry is the Meguiar's spray bottle. So why is this used a lot? Well, first of all, this is the uh, standard uh, bland one, basically that has no uh, product indication. There's no dilution charts, uh, and it's not made for any particular product in their professional detailing line. This is basically just a empty bottle that's translucent, so you can see uh, your liquids inside there. Just a classic bottle, 32 ounces, and you're getting the, again, see this? That's the uh, Tolco sprayer, so another classic inside there made in Taiwan. So uh, a very decent sprayer. So this is the spray pattern, by the way. Forgot to show you this. So this is the Tolco. So very good atomization. Again, you can go from very, very nice, generous spray. And this one also shoots very far in my garage and anything in between. So very easy to adjust. The same goes for the chemical guys, by the way, because this is the same trigger sprayer. You're getting that same performance. So shoot it all the way till the end of the garage. 
or very, very fine mist, anything in between. So uh, as you can tell, once again, they're very, very close. The Meguiar's spray bottle is typically uh, roughly 10 bucks, again, depending on which version you're getting. So it is on the inexpensive side. But the cool thing about the Meguiar's products is if you have their professional line of products, they have their spray bottles that are made for their products, meaning that like this one is the hyper dressing. So a dressing that you can use both inside and out of the vehicle. So if you buy their gallon sizes, you can put them in these beautifully marked bottles. So this one here, for example, hyper dressing, you can get one for their wheel brightener, regardless of which product you're buying, you can get this. And when you're getting the specific one for the product, they also give you on the side the dilution chart that goes along with that product. So have a look here at the rear of this. Hopefully the camera's fo focusing in on this. So you see four to one, three to one, two to one, one to one dilution ratios. They tell you what you're looking for on the side as well. Natural finish, satin finish, medium gloss, high gloss. So they're particular to every product that they have. You can get a spray bottle for each product. So case in point, let me show you one. So they have one. This is for the Meguiar's wheel brightener, right? So you see different label, different color. You have the clear marking in the front. This one here, because it's the wheel brightener, as I said before, has the acid uh, sprayer, acid resistant sprayer on the top. And they have the dilution chart here in the rear made specifically for the wheel brightener. So one to one, two to one, three to one, four to one, so on and so forth. So you're getting different colors of labels. You're having all your products. If you're using a lot of Meguiar's products with the appropriate labeling as well. So I think that is a very, very cool touch. And again, it's inexpensive. And if you like to have all your products marked easily and to have the quick dilution charts on there, especially if you're in the uh, uh, Meguiar's world, whether you're using their professional products or their consumer bought products, you can use their trigger sprayer bottles. So that being said, now you saw how they perform. We talked about the sprayers. We talked about the bottles for each one. We talked about the prices. Which one is the best one? I'm going to have to split it up in two categories. And again, I remind you all the links to all of these products, I'll drop in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, also, if you like my videos, by the way, don't forget to click the subscribe button to uh, subscribe to my channel that's found under the video. You're going to see that nice subscribe button. Uh, if you do that way, you're not going to miss my future videos. And you're also going to be a part of the Big Pandy Organizer family, over 700,000 subscribers strong uh, at the moment of this video in um, early 2022, probably January by the time this makes it uh, to my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, it's just, I'm blessed with a great audience and hopefully you guys enjoy the tips, the tricks, and uh, you improve your detailing game by watching my videos. So top pick, I'm gonna have to split it in two categories. So the top pick overall and also the top budget pick. So if I go for top budget pick, it is an easy choice as far as I'm concerned. It is the CarPro Dilute spray bottle. Why? Because it is the less expensive of the group. Again, depending on size, if you're looking at um, 500 mils or 16.9 ounces, it's eight USD. And if you're looking at the liter bottle or um, roughly 34 ounces, uh, that will come up to 10 USD. So these are the less expensive of the bunch. Uh, the uh, build quality is decent, uh, but because you have such great value, it's awesome. But they also have this fantastic dilution chart once again here on the side that makes diluting your product super easy. It's translucent, so you see the liquid that's inside there. The uh, sprayer that comes with it, the ergonomics are some of the best. Once again, it has this very, very long trigger. So that is awesome. The atomization is fantastic. Uh, the only thing they could do, I think, is improve on the quality of the sprayer and a bit on the bottle, but that would increase the price. So it's always a question of compromise, right? Uh, but for budget pick, this, by the way, number one, especially if you're diluting products uh, a lot and you have, you're measuring stuff, this, you can't go wrong. Now, if dilution isn't as important to you uh, and you don't need to make specific measurements, so if you're just filling out bottles to have a nice sprayer to use and you want the best quality, uh, the best ergonomics, the best performance, and the best looks, in my opinion, well, in that case, the uh, overall winner, regardless of price, will be these bottles by Pressall. I think, they're again, they're distributed exclusively by Obsessed Garage in North America. Um, but yeah, German-made, built in Germany. Uh, they're on the more expensive side, so, so anywhere from 14 to 16 USD, depending on which size you're getting. Uh, you can get different colors, that I like. The build quality, very sturdy, high-grade plastics. The uh, sprayer, 
top, top notch ergonomics is very, very good. Maybe a slight improvement possible here, but the performance second to none, they just feel good in your hand. And you get that double action as well, right? One spray forward, you spray a bit, you release and you're spraying some more. One release, so you're getting double pumps every time you're pumping. So a double action sprayer. Again, they look amazing. The only uh, negative portions is that, yes, it's translucent on this one. The colored ones, you can't really see the liquid, but this one you can. So the issue I would have is there's no dilution charts and no markings for to see which quantity you're putting inside there. So if that's important for you, uh, look elsewhere. But uh, if you just want the best of the best, this is it. However, it is very expensive, uh, especially if you live in Canada like me, the import fees, uh, duties and taxes and all that shipping costs uh, really, really jumps the price up to uh, almost ridiculous levels. Uh, so hopefully they figure a way to uh, lower the price uh, later on. But I mean, yeah, overall build quality. So the best uh, spray bottle overall, the uh, Pressol bottle. This one here is the household version. They have a bunch of different versions. Again, check the links in the description. And the best budget pick is CarPro Dilute, guys, especially if you're diluting and measuring products and you're wanting to have easy dilution ratios. So uh, by the way, let me know which one was your favorite spray bottle depend, uh, with what you've seen in this video. So drop a comment in the comment section under the video. And also if you have other spray bottles that you are using uh, that perhaps you believe are better, I also am very curious to find out because I like testing new stuff all the time. So let me know which one is your top pick in the description under the video. So guys, I thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.